fill tool's primary use is to apply solid colour to an object's fill and stroke. It also has the power to apply and modify gradients as well. Always remember that you need to have your layer or object selected. Then select the fill tool, which is located just above the transparency tool. I'll show you how to use this later together with the fill tool. You can access the fill tool quickly by selecting G on your keyboard. Now you'll see the context toolbar appear with all the fill tool settings. As you can see, the context is set to fill. You can also change this to stroke when needed. You can use this pop-up menu for quick changes to the colour. For now, let's remove the stroke and change this back to fill. You can also adjust the type by selecting non, solid, linear and more. Let's concentrate on linear gradient for now. First, what we need to do is to apply our fill by click, hold and drag. You can move this freehand at any time or you can go back up to the context toolbar and rotate by 90 degree increments. And you can also reverse the stops. Here we can adjust the midpoint from the work area. We can also click anywhere along the line to add new stops. These can also be adjusted along with the midpoints. You also have access to these via the swatch pop-up menu. Here you have quick access for everything, including changing the type, changing the opacity and reversing the gradient as well. Now we've made that adjustment, let me show you how to use this on artistic text. Don't forget you can also use this on objects as well. First I'm going to select this group. You can apply the fill tool to multiple layers or groups at one time. Then all you need to do is grab the fill tool again, click, hold and drag and adjust as needed. Let's move this midpoint slightly down here. Head up to the context toolbar and change the colour to this orange. Then I'm going to change the end stop to white and make the adjustment there. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to apply gradient to an image. Let's head to this page here. The first thing you need to remember when applying a fill to an image is to make sure you have the image inside the picture frame selected first. Then you can go to the fill tool, click hold and drag again. Then we can go and make our adjustment via the context toolbar. Edit the colours as needed. Adjust the midpoint and even reverse the gradient. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to use the transparency tool alongside the fill tool. First I'm going to select the layer that we used earlier to create this gradient. Then I'm going to make an adjustment to this gradient to fit the style that we want to use. From here use the fill tool to adjust the gradient. Then grab the transparency tool and simply click and drag to apply the transparency. I'm going to reverse and just the midpoint. I might even add in a new stop. These two tools used together are perfect for improving the text visibility to the reader. Head over to the transparency tool tutorial for more information. And that's a few ways you can use the fill tool in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.